I'm a catfish outlaw They said I was way too bright I'm a catfish outlaw Alright people, Catfish Dave here It's 4.30 in the afternoon It's Saturday, Labor Day weekend I really couldn't come up with no good skips where I was getting them at. They've been thinned out, so I'm kind of limited on bait. I've got frozen skips. I tried to net some gizzard shad, and I ended up getting a live drum. Oh, well, I've got three of those. I kept them alive. I did get a couple small shad, and I did end up getting like three small skipjack in my net. So that's my fresh bait plus my frozen bait. I've got this sun facing right in my eyes. It's not going to get no better until the sun goes down. So I'm going to go ahead and get baited up now and I'll probably just turn the camera off. I'm not expecting much at 4.30 in the afternoon, you know. I don't expect much till after nightfall. Water temps are still close to 80 degrees. I'm right up against a bluff here. Looks kind of like flathead territory. And uh, there's a creek mouth right there. I'm going to suspend two baits. Probably a live drum. Maybe a piece of uh, fresh white bass. And I'll probably put a frozen skipjack head cast it down river. I'm over 32 feet. If I go farther that way, I'm into 40. I'm kind of right on the drop off. We'll see what happens. I just got a fish on this live drum. You're not going to be able to see much with this stupid sun in the camera. I don't think he's a very big fish. He's, he's got into my other line. I don't know that, how that happened. I heard something snap. It was my main line that snapped. I must have had a nick in it. Yeah, I can feel this line kind of nicked up. I need to peel some off it. I'm glad I found out that it's bad line on that fish instead of a lot bigger one. We're going to try it again. I just got a takedown.
I'm going to try to net this one. I ain't going to do that same thing again. I not only caught a catfish, but right as I went to net him, some fish came floating down the river. Looks like a crappie. It's a big shell cracker. And he's got some kind of marks right here. And across here, something has got a hold of this shell cracker. It don't smell bad, it smells fresh. But something has got a hold of that and spit it back out. And I may use him for bait. This fish hit the frozen skipjack. Body section. I've got a couple small shad. Some days they prefer shad. I'm gonna put this on. I still got a piece of skipjack on this rod here. I would rather be in the mouth of that creek the reason I'm this far up is because there is a boat ramp there. There's going to be a lot of boat traffic coming in right at dark, so I didn't want to be too close to that. I'm still not bad up against this bluff just above that creek mouth. I'd rather be there, but this will do. They can still come through. Looks like a great place for a big flathead. Could be a big blue too. We have a full moon rising at 9 p.m. Now, I am no fan of a full moon. So how late I'm going to stay, I don't know. It's dark at 8. They say moonrise can spark a bite. I'm no fan of that full moon once it comes up. Either way, we're getting into prime time. I'm going to go ahead and install this light. It's kind of in my way. But it being a Labor Day weekend, I could be getting a lot of nighttime traffic. If they come up river, I'll have to shut off that video light because it'll blind them. Then I'll have to run these till they pass through.
Fish on, fish on. Yeah. Another Tennessee River blue kit. The waves are just now starting to calm down a little bit from all the boat traffic. There's still a few coming up river every now and then. I'm interested to see what hits this live drum over here. Usually, uh, I am very considerate with these lights. Uh, there's been many places I didn't film because there were boaters out there at night and I knew these lights were bright. Well, I would usually set up when I didn't see nobody and I would be very careful when I seen a boat coming my way to shut the big light off and just leave my anchor lights on so they could see. Well, this one night I felt like an outlaw and uh, I didn't do that. And uh, one of the boats coming up river was the TWRA and I got busted. I got branded a catfish outlaw. Hey. Yeah. What is it? Your, all your anchor lights not on? Well, I figured they could see me real good with that. No, if they're coming from the other way, you're blinding people, this has got to go. Well, if they've been coming right up on me, I've been shutting it off and turning my light you on. You got to, coming around that bend down there, it's blinding. You can't from see, you can't from run From that there. far off? Do what? From that far away when you Yes, sir. I typically, if I if I see them coming straight at me, I turn it off, I'll go you've ahead got, and... You've got to keep that on anytime you're on the water. Yeah. That has got to be on. Right. But now, that's got to be off because you're blinding people with that. Well, I'll have to go somewhere else then. Yeah, because coming up the lake, that right there is just blinding. Yeah, I, I try to angle a little more towards the bluff, but... Yeah, and, and see that you're clear all around line right here? Yeah. That's got to be on at all times that you're on the water at night. You can't turn it off. Because people coming the opposite way, yeah. and because when I passed you just to see if you had your lights on, and you went black on me as soon as I went behind your spotlight. Huh. So turn that thing, that's got to come on. Well, I got me a YouTube channel. Sometimes I film at night. Now if I make a video in the dark, I'm gonna have to use some light. Then barges shine a million candle watt beam, and that seems to be alright. But TWRA busted me that night. I'm a catfish outlaw. Said I was way too bright. I'm a catfish outlaw. I can't make a video without no light. 1500 boats out there, and I'm the only one they saw. TWRA branded me a catfish outlaw. I'm 
shooting a video. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you can't be on the water and have that to affect anybody coming up and down the water. All right. Them bow fishermen can be lit up like the sun, and they're allowed to have their fun. But without my lights, I just can't get her done. Well, on this night, I was getting some bites, and I'm the only one they saw. TWRA branded me a catfish outlaw. I'm a catfish outlaw They said I was way too bright I'm a catfish outlaw I can't make a video without no light 1500 boats out there And I'm the only one they saw T-W-R-A branded me an outlaw. There's a lesson in every video. Uh, in this one, we learned you can't blind other boaters, and you always got to have yanker lights on at night. Now, I don't hold nothing against T-W-R-A. It was a holiday weekend. Uh, I should have been a little more on top of things, but that night... I was feeling like a catfish outlaw. So there's a video. There was fish in the video. That makes it a fishing video. It's Catfish Day with another one. Signing out. I'll wait on you to get that turned off. All right. Well, you heard it, people. I can't make a video, so.